Hey everyone, my name's Haley. Uh, this is my new YouTube YouTube channel. And what I want to do as my first video is to tell everyone about the LG V60 ThinQ. So it's a new phone that came out in April and I absolutely love it. Um, I found out about this phone from another YouTuber's channel um, who's sponsored with LG. I'll link his video um, that has the phone um, and all the options and everything about it in the description box below. And then I'll also link to his main channel. Um, he is a gamer channel and then on Sundays he has a cute little video with his dogs. Um, anyways, so I am recording on the phone right now to show the video quality and the sound quality of this phone. And before you say, ew, that's an Android phone, it is. But I was an iPhone girl, all about iPhone and Apple for the longest time until I saw this phone. I compared the features and this phone is just so much better than the iPhone, so many ways. The camera, uh, I believe it's the back camera is 64 megapixels, one of them, there's like three back cameras. Uh, the battery, I can watch literally five hours of TV on my phone nonstop, and the battery's barely at 60%. But when I had my iPhone, I had an iPhone uh, XS Max. And I would watch one hour of uh, TV, and it would already be at like 70%. But with this phone, five hours, and the battery's barely drained, and what's even more cool is that it charges really fast. I've had this phone down at, I think 20% was the lowest, and it charged within an hour and like nine minutes. Um, it comes with uh, the charger, which is type C. It can go in either way, just like the lightning cord with the iPhones. It's fast, it's amazing. Um, it can do everything an iPhone can do and better. The only thing that it doesn't have is FaceTiming and iMessage. But when I had the iPhone XS Max, I would do the swipe up and stuff um, to get uh, like delete or force quit uh, the apps and to get to another home screen. And you can either set it up like a an regular Android device or it comes pre-set up like the iPhone. And I loved that. The only, there's only a couple things I don't like about the phone, but they're so minor compared to everything else I love. Uh, there's no facial recognition. So you have to use a fingerprint, not a huge deal. Uh, there's only one speaker. So I listen to um, a TV show or movie at night. So my brain will stop thinking like stupid things so I can fall asleep. I listen to it and I can like picture the movie or TV show in my head. And I had, I have two fans on in the background to block out all the other noise. So with this phone, um, I can't hear the movie or TV show by itself I, like I could with my iPhone. So I just hooked it up to my Bluetooth speaker. No big deal. Um, there's really not much I don't like about this phone. I don't like, there's also, since it's new and it's not iPhone, it, there's very limited cases. It's solid black uh, cases. So you don't even get to see the color of the phone. So uh, the only option that was available at my Verizon store was blue. I wanted to go in the store and actually see the phones, but because of the virus, I wasn't allowed to. Um, because this is three week three of me having this phone. And what I love about this phone is it has a dual screen. Now mine hasn't come in yet. Um, so it kind of depends on the carrier you have. And only four carriers carry it. Um... I know it's U.S. Cellular, Verizon, T-Mobile, and like there's this other one that's not super popular. So with Verizon, um, you have to get the dual screen separately, and it either costs $100, but right now they have a promotion going on for free, but it takes like three to six weeks to ship. 
So now I'm on week three. I am hoping it ships. Um, the video that I'll link you to, um, his name is Trevor. He shows the dual screen and some cool features about it. Uh, I would have never thought in a million years I would have ever had an Android phone. But I love it. It was the best choice. It was under $1,000. It was a little over 1000 with like taxes and all that kind of stuff. But my iPhone XS Max was like 1500 And it took, I think, like two years to pay it off. But I plan to pay this phone off in about nine months. So if I want to upgrade, which I don't think I'll upgrade for a while because this phone is so great. It's so fast. Um, and with the iPhones, they force slow them down. Like, that's not cool. You shouldn't force slow down phones just so they can, uh, you're forcing people to buy a newer phone. So, trust me when I say I am an Apple. I have a Mac. I'll, I'll never give up my Mac, but I had... I used to get a brand new iPhone every single year because I didn't want it to slow down. I started with the iPhone 4 when I was in high school. Um, I don't think I had the 5. I think I went right from the 4 to the 6 because I didn't like the 5 in the features. And then I went to 7. Then I skipped 8 and went right to the iPhone X. S Max. I wanted the bigger screen, which is also awesome about this phone. It is the iPhone was like 6.1 inch screen while this one's like 6.5. <clears throat> and the awesome thing about this phone is that um, there's only a teeny little circle up above where the front camera is that will block your view if you have it full screen for videos. But the other cool thing is that you can tell the video or even full-time, that you don't want that there. It will just put it right under and it won't be in your way. Because I know someone tried to sue Apple because of it. Uh, there's just there's just so many cool features about this phone. Um, the cameras, um, there's a bunch of different options with the cameras. Uh, there's like 8,000K or 8K or something for video shooting. Um, I really haven't got into much of that. I haven't taken many pictures. Now, with the transferring from iPhone to Android, wasn't horrendously difficult, but there is a little uh, difficulty with it. So, what I did with my contacts, I saved my contacts from my phone, uh, and I downloaded a certain app where I could, like, email myself to contact list and download it on my Android phone later. That's what I did. I make sure to back up my iPhone several times to iCloud, which I still have iCloud because I have my Mac and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so it saves it all. And then I had over 10,000 photos on my phone. Uh, and it wasn't worth it to transfer all those. And they're all in the iCloud. So I was like, you know what, let's not even transfer that because it was going to literally take days because I didn't have a cord that does lightning to USB-C. So I was trying to do it over Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi is very fast and it wouldn't do it. So <clears throat> I was like, you know what, I don't need the pictures and all that kind of stuff. And with this phone, when I do take pictures, I press and hold the screen. It auto-locks the focus and takes a picture. And um, I've tried taking pictures of cats. And it works fairly okay because you know cats. Like, they move their heads fast when you're trying to take a picture. Um, but other than that, I, I absolutely love this phone. It's... There's just so many great things about this phone that... I, I can't even describe how much I love it. And I can't even wait until I get the dual screen because it attaches to the phone and it's like a mini laptop and you can um, disconnect the dual screen and it's just so cool. So I'm definitely going to leave the link to Trevor's two pages. Subscribe. He is one of my favorites. I love his dog, Coda. Um, I don't watch much of his gaming uh videos but that's because I'm not a gamer girl 
at all. I just accidentally stumbled upon his page um, about his dogs, and I love him. So I watch it every Sunday. But if you are a gamer, definitely check out his gaming channel. And then on Sundays, he posts his video about dogs. So I'll leave all the description in the box below. Um, I mean, I'll leave the links in the description box below. And I'll also give you a link to LG's page that tells you what carriers this phone um, is capable with. And... Um, it will tell you all the features and everything about this phone. I know with T-Mobile, the dual screen comes with it. But you can look into all the specs of the phone and stuff. And I hope the audio sounds great on here. I'm just holding in my hand. I do have a DSLR camera, but I'm waiting for a cord to come in the mail. And I was like, you know what? This video is about the phone, so let's try out the video. So, no big deal. Uh, so, I hope you like my channel. I'll be trying to post videos every single day or every single week. It kind of depends. Um, so, let me know. Thanks. See you guys later.